The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed by the various participants in this video do not necessarily reflect the opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints of the entire Dreadlock community. First of all, much love to everyone that contributed footage for this video. I'm using these polarizing perspectives just to show and illustrate how confusing it can be for newcomers into the dread game and having them understand what kind of dreadlock journey that they might be going on themselves. Now, we are just focusing here on free form locks and the efforts of just washing and letting them go. That, that is what we are clarifying free form locks as in this video specifically. No shade to anybody in this video that might have been showing some perspectives of the confusing type. I just wanted to use it to illustrate how easy it is to get confused in the dreadlock game when looking amongst other creators to find the right information. Freeform locks is allowing your hair to grow out completely free of any manipulation, of any restrictions, keeping it clean as possible, and allowing it to form in its natural ways. Allowing your hair to tangle is the most important step of freeform locks. With other procedures such as twisting or interlocking or even crochet hooks, these all involve a procedure that almost goes against the natural ways of how hair will tangle when left alone because of the forced manipulation. Freeform locks is definitely just being able to let your hair do its own thing and that's it. It's really that simple and it's so simple that people find it difficult to do and understand. But in reality, all we have to do is wash our hair with residue free shampoo, meaning no chemicals, no fragrance, no synthetic ingredients. If you are in the climate where it's warm enough to let your hair air dry outside, that will do it. I'll often wrap my hair up in a towel and let it soak up in the towel, but never rubbing with the towel. Just let it soak up and then I might even blow dry it a little bit to help encourage the air to flow through it, but I will let it air dry after that. And I will always make sure I wash my hair in the morning so that I have the entire day to let it air dry afterwards. So it's really that simple. I wanted to ask other YouTubers what they think freeform locks are to them. What are freeform locks? So to me, Freeform locks in their truest sense is exactly what it sounds like. It is letting your hair freely form and form into locks or dreadlocks. So my personal journey has been separation along the way. In its truest sense is letting your hair freely form into locks. I understand over the years that term has taken, as it pertains to dreadlocks, that has taken quite the turn and everybody's putting their own description and their own um, opinion or thoughts on what freeform locks is, right? Now, don't get me wrong. There are like, there, there's a bunch of methods on how to get free forms. You got the towel method, which is my favorite, the microfiber towel method. You got the sponge method, which is the most common. Everybody uses the hair sponge. You got the brush method. And then last but not least, you got the finger method, just regular twisting with your fingers. Now it's up to you. Like I said, me personally, my favorite method is the microfiber towel because it's, it's way faster and it's more efficient. You know what I'm saying? To like already be in the game. But I feel like free forms are really unique because it just shows it shows a lot about the person like you know it shows like they take care of the hair but it's just in a different way you know what i'm saying like i feel like hair in general is art especially free forms so what are true free forms then first and foremost free form locks is a mindset right after that it's simply washing your hair and leaving it alone and however your hair forms that's how it's gonna form right yep i also noticed that a lot of people get messy locks and free form locks they kind of use them like synonymous with each other. Messy locks and freeform locks are two different worlds, right? So messy locks are somebody who maybe started their hair um, with maybe some with a sponge or even coils sometimes, and they they just don't twist it for a while. And freeform locks is a type of dread locks that you simply wash it, leave it alone, and however it's gonna form, it's gonna form. That's it. I agree with what Johnny the Dread says. It's a big mindset factor of growing freeform locks because. It takes almost an evolution of your mind and letting go of past stigmas and conditionings to allow our hair to naturally want to do its own thing. It takes a lot of persistence and it takes a lot of charisma to not want to take apart and manipulate our hair in ways that's going to hinder the freeform locking process. Now, without further ado, I would love to share with you the tips and tricks that I have listed to how to grow and maintain your freeform locks. So let's get to it. 
Dreadlocks are a popular hairstyle that has been worn by people from various cultures and backgrounds for centuries. While there are many methods of growing and maintaining dreadlocks, freeform dreadlocks are unique in that they are grown without the use of products or techniques that force the hair to form specific patterns or shapes. Instead, Freeform dreadlocks rely on the natural movement and growth of the hair to create a unique and personalized look. Here are some tips on how to grow freeform dreadlocks for yourself. Stop cutting your hair. The first step in growing freeform dreadlocks is to stop cutting your hair. You want to allow your hair to grow out as long as possible so you have enough hair to form dreadlocks. Depending on the length of your hair, it may take several months or even years to grow your hair out to, to the desired length. Now you want to make sure you start with clean hair. Before starting to grow freeforms, it's important to make sure your hair is clean and free of any products or buildup. You can use a clarifying shampoo to remove any residue and prepare your hair for the dreadlocking process. On your first few months of the journey, it's very important to consider this. While you're growing out your freeforms, it's essential to keep your hair clean by washing it regularly. Clean hair will always be easier to form into dreadlocks and it will also prevent any unpleasant odors from developing. However, it's important to use a residue free shampoo and avoid using conditioners as this can make your hair too soft and difficult to lock. If you can, use cold water to wash your hair. It really helps enhance the curl patterns. And let your hair dry naturally. After washing your locks, it's best to let it air dry rather than using a blow dryer or other heating tools or even a towel. This helps to prevent damage to your hair and it allows it to free form into natural dreadlocks easier. Now the towel and the blow dryer are not totally forbidden. If you're going to use a towel, make sure you wrap your head up in kind of like a turban style or what, you, what we call a plop and let the, the towel soak up any excess water for about half an hour to 45 minutes. As for blow drying, use a low temperature setting so it's cool air blowing over your locks to dry them. The medium setting works good also. But never use a blow dryer until it's bone dry. Always stop around 85% and then let it air dry from there on out. One of the keys to growing freeform dreadlocks is to avoid combing and brushing. This allows your hair to naturally tangle and form into dreadlocks over time. Instead, you can use your fingers to separate any large knots or tangles, but this is optional. Well, freeform in my estimation would be simply, as it states, freeformed. The less manipulation, the more freeform they are. Where I had my head in a toque for a long winter, let my head start to separate naturally without any manipulation, but once I saw the clear separation that occurred naturally, I kind of uh, attacked that a little bit and did uh, do some ripping and tearing at varying degrees and uh, lots of ways to put it, but freeform is a beautiful thing. You want to allow your hair to tangle up. As your hair continues to grow, it will start to tangle and not naturally. It's important to allow your hair to tangle and not on its own without using any tools or chemicals. This will help create the natural and unique texture that is characterized of freeform dreadlocks. Now it's very important to remember to maintain a healthy scalp. While growing freeform dreadlocks, you have to keep your scalp healthy by washing it regularly and keeping it moisturized. You can use natural oils like coconut or jojoba oil to help keep your scalp moisturized and prevent dryness and flakiness. So this would be a good example of what some natural ingredients would look like inside of some conditioning sprays and oils. Uh, these ones came out from the Wick Lady and she has this product line, basically a daytime moisturizer and a nighttime moisturizer and conditioner for locks. Now, it's important to find products like these. I mean, this, there's plenty of them out there, but you have to make sure that there's ingredients in there that's all organic and natural, um, avoidance of chemicals. And we can see here where it talks, um, the ingredients listed is, is just water, cucumber water, orange water, coconut water, vanilla water, rose water, peppermint water, black rice water, blueberry oil, castor oil, uh, coconut conditioning, and fenugreek seed. 
Another great product I'd recommend is Free The Roots. They do offer a natural and organic conditioning spray as well. You can always use things like coconut oil or olive oil, even castor oil, jojoba oil. And these are all oils you can find in a raw organic material as well. So just keep your eye out at the grocery store um, for items like this that can always help for conditioning your scalp to make sure it's moisturized and hydrated in times to prevent flakiness and dry scalp issues. Big step in this game of freeform dreadlocks is learning to embrace the imperfections. Freeform dreadlocks are all about embracing the natural texture and movement of your hair. Don't worry too much about creating perfectly uniform dreadlocks or worrying about the shape or size of each individual lock. Instead, focus on allowing your hair to form into unique and personalized dreadlocks that reflect your individual style. You have to be patient. Growing freeform dreadlocks can take time, lots of time. And it's important to be patient and let the process happen naturally. It may take several months or even years for your hair to fully form into dreadlocks, so don't get discouraged. If you don't see results right away, avoid the temptation to use tools or chemicals to speed up the process, as this can damage your hair and prevent it from forming dreadlocks properly. In conclusion, growing freeform dreadlocks can be a rewarding and unique experience that allows you to embrace your natural hair texture and style. By following these tips and allowing your hair to naturally form into dreadlocks over time, you can achieve a beautiful and personalized hairstyle that is truly one of a kind. Remember to always stay happy and stay natty and best of luck on your brand new freeform lock journey. I say probably like 2019, I cut my first set of locks off and my first set of locks were free forms. They're actually right here in my lap in this plastic bag. I still have my locks. No, we don't throw locks away, but here's like a handful of them. It's crazy how like, how, how many, like how much energy, memories, like everything is in this, you know what I'm saying? But that's besides the point. If you want to start free forms, whoever's watching this, you got to understand it takes time and patience. You're not just going to wake up one day and have free forms. No, it takes time and patience and consistency. Time, patience, and consistency. At least one thing a lot of these creators can summarize and share their ideas upon is patience. Now, I did wanna ask a few other people in the dreadlock game, especially people that aren't doing free form specifically, what their thoughts are on the process. I'm Missy from Locked Up by Missy G. I was asked to explain what free form locks are to me. Pretty simple. It's when somebody stops brushing their hair, continues to wash it, and they form locks. It means a lot of patience, probably. I would never be able to do it. Um, takes years to accomplish, but you do end up forming locks. Some people uh, decide to continue separating them, so you keep nice small locks like this. Um, and then other people just let them Congo and do all this crazy stuff, and then you end up with those big Rasta crazy looking locks, which are totally fucking dope too. But yeah, definitely, definitely teaches somebody some patience. Um, I installed my locks. I actually put them in with a crochet hook, but I have not maintained them in two years since I put them in, so I'm kind of faking the uh, <laughs> free form. Last and not least, I feel like a big part of starting a dreadlock journey is becoming a part of a community because it's easier to accomplish goals and dreams when you have other people by your side with a supporting mindset. This is why here at Not Nation, I'd highly recommend subscribing and engaging with the community either in the comment section down below or over on our Reddit community at reddit.com slash r slash not nation where you can post pictures or videos of yourself and even ask questions along the way because otherwise it might be a little bit difficult to find the correct information just from Google alone. So just so you guys can remember, there are other people out there going through the same situation, the same dreadlock journey. We are here to help one another. The best part is, is that even though we're all on the same journey, all of our locks are coming along differently and, and unique to each of our own. But doesn't mean that our tips and tricks cannot apply to one another. So I look forward to seeing you guys within the community in the future. And I do appreciate everyone that has watched this video up until this point. So in the end of the day, freeform locks, 
is allowing your natural tangles to happen. And the beautiful thing is, all hair will tangle up if left alone and left clean. It doesn't matter your hair type. I will say that some hair types will tangle faster than others. Every single hair type will tangle naturally. Even in the animal kingdom, their hair and fur will mat together in natural ways because they don't use combs in, in the wild, right? Yep. So let's almost go back to our ancestors in the times before we had these tools of beauty to manipulate our hair and just think of how mother nature would handle it. Those are what freeform locks are to me. The most natural way to grow your hair and let it tangle up the way mother nature intended it to do so. Until next time, this is Not Locks signing out. Stay happy, stay natty. One love everybody. This is a legend right legend. here. Legend. Like, likewise, likewise. Dude, likewise. I don't know if I would have locks if it wasn't for him. What? That's for real.